this is tutorial number 10 and in this tutorial we are going to continue talking about the sketch menu but this time we are going to the constraints so now let's go to the sketch menu by editing this sketch which we are creating in the previous lesson and here we have the constraint icons so let's start with co coincident parallel tangent and so on so let's have some small example let's draw a line and let's activate the coincident constraint and choose this line and this point so now we have this line coincident with this point but if we choose this point the end point of the line and this point so it will connect that line with the point choose point and now let's draw another line and let's now activate the parallel constraint so parallel making two lines parallel so let's make this line parallel to this line so as you notice we have this line is parallel to this rectangle edge now deactivate the by and now we can move this line anywhere and it will keep parallel to that edge and now with the end tangent so let's draw a circle to show how to to use this constraint so let's activate this constraint and choose this circle and this line so now we have this circle is tangent with this line and we can move it we just deselect the So now we just deselect the tangent icon by right click OK. Now we can move it to, to the line. So as you see, it is tangent with this line. And now let's choose the collinear constraint. And if you hover over it and you can see the help how to use any of these constraints so now let's draw one line and let's make it collinear with this line so let's activate the collinear constraint choose this line this line so you have this line is constraint collinear with this line and if you want them to be Coincident, you can just activate the coincident, choose this lo this point and this point. So now let's move to the parallel perpendicular constraint. Let's activate and let's make this line perpendicular to this line. So you can see that we have this line perpendicular to this rectangle edge and for the smooth so let's make some sketch here line let's just move this a little bit and delete this portion and draw a spline instead now let's choose the smooth constraint make this line smooth with this line make this line smooth with this line so we have this smooth so now let's move to the concentric constraint let's draw two circles small circle and another circle and let's activate the concentric constraint and choose this circle and this circle so we have 
the bigger circuit is considered with the smaller circuit and for the horizontal it nothing special it's easy to use making a line horizontal and symmetric and uh, so i let you try with these with the help of the when you're hovering with the help menu for example if you choose the equal and let's make this one equal to this one so we have two equal circles and now one last thing i want to show you how to show the existing constraint if you right click so not in this menu just be sure that nothing is activated or selected right click again and here you can see show all constraint or by pressing f8 show all constraint so you have all the existing constraint for example if you want to delete one constraint just select and on the keyboard press delete or here so now we have that constraint is deleted so now if you move this circle there's no longer tangent with the line and to hide the constraint again right click and hide all constraint i hope this lesson was useful and thanks for watching